Hopefully, Barnet away. Marlon, um, what's made you come to Cheltenham? Uh, it's just the, uh, the, the draw of uh, playing football. I've experienced it at Wickham and Dagenham. And I'll hopefully get like, a whole season behind me playing games, which I need at my age. And obviously, the link between Cheltenham and Portsmouth. Steve Cottrell, what's he said to you? Yeah, you know, Gaffer has you know, got massive praise for the club here. He said it's a good setup, a you know, good young side, a good passing team. So, you know, it's drawn me to it as well. You say you've come here for football, but it's not every day that Cheltenham can get a player on loan from a championship club who came on as a sub at the weekend. I mean, you have been close to that Portsmouth first team. Yeah, but, you know, I think I wouldn't really be playing you know, a major part there. You know, be, you know, starts. Wouldn't be likely to be coming on the bench now and again. Which, you know, at my age, like I said, I need to be playing football. I mean, you're still only, what, 19, is it? Yeah. That's, you know, you've still got time on your side. You're... You know, you're a big lad as well to be playing yeah. in the centre of the park. Um, what what do you see as your main strengths and your main attributes? Um, I see my main strengths is passing, really. You know, I think I'm quite good in the air. You know, I'm strong. I'm just getting the ball down, really, and start playing. And how excited are you about getting this, this chance at Cheltenham? Yeah, you know, it's a new challenge. You know, this team seems to be doing well, so hopefully I can fit in well. You mentioned... Lone spells last season at Wickham and Dagenham. Obviously, you know Wesley Thomas. Yeah, I know Wes from there. It's about Dagenham. So hopefully, he come here, you know, link up. How we, how much help is that when you've got someone like that you know and you can, you know, try and sort of pick up where you left off? Yeah, it's always good knowing someone. You know, you can bond up with them. It probably makes you easier to get along with other people. So yeah, it's always good. Have you spoken to him? I haven't spoke to him yet, but you know, I'll see him in a minute. Yeah, just catch up and see how he's doing. First morning training with the club. It's Thursday, game on Saturday. Would you hope to be involved? Yeah, definitely. I said I'd come here to play, so hopefully I'll be involved Saturday and start off with a win. What's the difference between League Two and the Championship? Um, I can't really answer that. I come on for about ten minutes against Cardiff, so I wouldn't really know. I've played in the Carlin Cup, but there's only a short spell as well, so I've not really played a full game. So I wouldn't really know. But obviously you'd be aware then of, say, the step up between reserve team football and, and League Two. What, what's the difference? Is it more physical? Um, definitely, yeah. League Two is more physical. It's, it's quicker as well, quicker than you think. You know, the teams don't give you no more time. The you know, reserve league is not meaningless, but you know, it's not there's not points at stake. You know, so it's not really that much important compared to the league games. I suppose it's the competitive element of matches yeah, you want. Yeah, you know, there's fans as well. It means everything for the fans for three points. And, you know, reserves should be for fitness for first team players, and sometimes not really too bothered. And how important is it that you come into a team who've had a good start and are right up there near the top of the table? Yeah, you know, that's one of the reasons that I did come here. The side that's doing well, and hopefully we can carry on that through the season while I'm here. Good luck Saturday. Yeah, thank you. you. And cheers. cheers, mate. Marlon, um, how beneficial do you think? coming here and playing regular football you know you're going to be here for the whole season now so yeah. how beneficial do you think that could be for your game? So I've played I think I've played about 30 league games now overall so if I keep building that you know I'll be 20 by the season's finished and hopefully get quite a lot of games under my belt yeah. and it always looks good for the future I mean, Steve Cottrell transformed this club when he was here between 97 yeah. and 2002 what's, what's it been like working with him for the last couple of months? Yeah I think I've been here for two months and I see he's a young player he's got quite a hard job down there but it's good, I've obviously made my debut under him, so obviously I'm thankful for that. And uh, you almost came just before the start of the season, didn't you, with another yeah. Portsmouth lad, and it, it was off, and then you then you ended up coming anyway. What happened with the, you know, why was the um, delay, do you know? I think, really, we didn't have no players down there. To be honest, I don't, still really haven't got any. So obviously I wanted my chance down there, you know, I got it, and then you know, I realised that I won't be starting. So obviously, like I said, I need to be playing. Yeah, and obviously you want to, you don't want to come here and sit on the bench, do you? You want to fight for, to get in... No, first team. See, so yeah, I'm going to be fighting. You know, show you hopefully show what I can do in training. And put my name on the team sheet. Yeah, and you, you did quite well for Dagenham last season. You got a goal, didn't you? And played yeah. quite regularly for them. My so ho game. hopefully you can reproduce that this season. Uh, hopefully, you score a few more yeah. than one. But yeah, that's it. And Wesley you mentioned Wesley Thomas. He, he didn't really get a regular game for Dagenham last year. He was on the bench a lot, wasn't he? No, but he's come here and the score five. Yeah, I think when I was there, you know, he started like two games, but you know he started on fire. Here. So. You know, show what he can do when he starts a game. Yeah, obviously you mentioned the situation at Portsmouth is difficult. Do you think you know Steve Cottrell's a man to sort of get everyone galvanised yeah, and pulling I mean, together? I think it's only a matter of time, really. You know, we've got the players there. 
I just think, you know, once everything gets sorted, I think they'd be easily fine and we'd think they'd do well.